What is going on, all of you legendary sword wielders out there in the world in the expanse of Hyrule? I am Mega Amster. Thank you for being here. If you're new here, hey, welcome to the channel. Thanks for being here. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for the continued support all the time. It really means a lot to me. And I know, especially recently, because I've been taking a break from streaming and uh, haven't done a lot of videos lately, not as much as I've been meaning to. But the reason for that is because, like a lot of people out there, a lot of professional gamers out there, I have been pretty deep into tears of the kingdom and uh i'd be curious to know my exact times uh, in terms of, i haven't looked at my gameplay times yet but i'm guessing maybe around like 15 20 hours if i had to guess not as much as some other people but like still a good amount um i've been hooked on this game i've been absolutely hooked and it's honestly kind of absurd but uh i'm really really enjoying it uh yes this video is clickbait 100 the video title is clickbait to quote mephilus the dark one of the greatest sonic villains because it got a sneak of sonic reference in here from the critically acclaimed Sonic the Hedgehog released for the Xbox 360 and PS3 in 2006. Anyways, the joke's already done. The answer is yes and no. Now, let me explain. Let me explain. Now that Tears of the Kingdom is finally out, as of this recording, it's been out for a week and a half. A giant, like, part of me wants to say yes. Breath of the Wild is now completely obsolete. But it still does have its own things. But this whole video is going to be me talking about why I think it's obsolete and why I don't think I'm ever going to replay Breath of the Wild. And um, there's going to be some Tears of the Kingdom gameplay spoilers. Um, I kind of have the game on in the background because I want to play more. I'm going to try to avoid spoiler stuff. No story spoilers whatsoever. You won't get that from me. But there's going to be some gameplay spoilers. So like probably abilities, look, maybe some locations, stuff like that. Um, so if you don't want any of those spoilers, definitely tune out now. Just assume I'm going to spoil anything regarding gameplay. Story, you should be fine. But final warning, get out of here if you need to. This game is so good. Oh, this game is so good. Let's switch over here because I want to play more while I'm talking. This game is so good. This game is so good. I'm not going to say where I am. You can see my location. Don't look at that. Ignore that. This game is so much better than Breath of the Wild. Like, it feels like, and I've heard... I've been listening to a lot of podcasts about this, and so many people, and I agree with them, have said, Breath of the Wild in comparison, yeah, it was amazing when it came out in 2017, but it feels so much like a tech demo now compared to this game. This game is literally Breath of the Wild, but infinitely more. It's absurd. You know, of course, you have the different levels of terrain you can explore. Um, I gotta lift the veil off the curtain because I know I said gameplay spoilers, right? The depths, oh my god, the depths are so good. The, uh, the, the Sky Islands are also pretty fun. There's some fun stuff you can do up there, but man, the depths. I still, there's so much I haven't explored down there. That is so fun. Not like Even the Hyrule Field itself that you had access to during the entirety of Breath of the Wild, it, it is the same map, and there are some places where I've kind of gone back and been like, oh, this is the same location, but it's so new. Everything's updated. It's great. It feels completely different because of that. Um, and I mean, I gotta say, jumping into this right after Breath of the like, not even right after Breath of the Wild, I haven't played, I haven't played Breath of the Wild since the DLC, the last pack of DLC launched, and that was probably like, well, I played it late, so it was probably like first half 28, first half 2018, because I got my Switch to Christmas 2017. I haven't gone back to Breath of the Wild since, and I really have no reason to go back now because, man, this game is so much better. It is infinitely better because not only do you have most of the Breath of the Wild stuff, but you have so much more. The one big difference, obviously, is the runes, right? The Magnesis Stasis Bombs, those are not here, but what's in place of those is so much more unique. And in some ways, like an upgraded version, ooh, banana. Like, for example, like, Ultra Hand, kind of has some magnesis abilities but like obviously way more you can build a ton of shit with it right and there's you i'm sure you've all seen gameplay clips of people building crazy stuff online it's honestly absurd um recall is a much more useful stasis i've used recall much more than i thought i would especially with like projectile based enemies it's super nice ascend of course mitigates a lot of needs for climbing i'm not using it as much as i expected it is limited but um it is very convenient when you have the option um there are even some spots where you can go all the way from the bottom of the depths up back to the overworld, and it's it's honestly absurd. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like somewhere on this map, there's got to be one spot where you go all the way from the bottom of the depths to, like, the top of a sky island. I wonder if there's, like, a giant pillar somewhere. I'll have to check that out. Um, and then also, Fuse is the one that I'm a little underwhelmed by. Like, I am finding it useful. Like, for example, let me pull out a weapon that I have 
Where's some of my good fused weapons? I'm gonna get electrocuted though. Um, but Coblin Arms, really good for fusing stuff, by the way. Um, just a little heads up there. It's just like, I don't know. I'm definitely, now that I'm trying to fuse more materials to, um... oh, I sometimes still get the controls mixed up. Sometimes when I'm trying to fuse material, like fusing materials to weapons definitely can um, increase the effects for sure. Um, oh, you know, yeah, that's so much smarter. So yeah, let me, it's like, it, it definitely helps a lot. Like this is gonna, look at that, 44, that's pretty damn good. So like fusion mitigates a lot of my issues. I love using it on arrows. The weapons I'm a little, I'm still a little underwhelmed by, um, but it's still really cool. I just, I'm not finding out that I'm using it like nonstop. Like Ultra Hand is really the star of the show here, but the fusion is still really good. Um, oh, look, my horse heard me. Okay, horsey. Um, you have fun trying to get up these cliffs, but like, yeah, the arrows, I love fusing stuff to arrows. The weapons, not so much, but I'm starting to get the hang of it more. And I've, you know, I've picked up on some tips, like monster parts apparently are really good for that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, oh, is that a new stable? Damn, look at that, new stable. I haven't come across it yet. Hell yeah, let's go. Um, oh, lakeside, nice, okay. This is brand new to me. It's just, it's legitimately like so, this game is just so much better. The abilities I find more fun. Of course, there's, I'm not gonna talk about story, but there's a lot more story going on and like connected lore going on in this game, which I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff, so I love that. Um, I find in some areas there is more memorable music. I know that was kind of a complaint some people had with uh, Breath of the Wild, and I find here that there is more to kind of hear with that. It's still a lot of the borrowed soundtrack from Breath of the Wild, but um, some new ones here and there. Uh, another big difference being the temples. I mean, the temples, while they're not to the same degree as dungeons from previous Zelda games, I think they are miles better than the Divine Beasts. The Divine Beasts, the main thing for me was that they just blended a lot, you know what I mean? I didn't mind like the different rotating stuff, but like I like having unique temples to explore rather than just like, oh, it's the rustic looking Divine Beasts four times, you know what I mean? And like there were slight differences, one's in the sky, one's near water, I guess, I don't know. It was, I don't know, it was okay, but like, just, oh, this game is so good. And the changes they've made, I don't even know how to articulate this into words fully. The changes they've made have been for the better. There's a lot of quality of life improvements. There's only a couple things that are a little worse than Breath of the Wild. Um, performance, some areas can be definitely worse, but I mean, you think about the expanse of this game, it's infinitely bigger than Breath of the Wild. So like, <laughs> not infinitely, but you know what I mean. Um, for some reason, my, I've found that my horse doesn't always hear me immediately when I call to them, so... Um, and it doesn't tell you if your horse can't hear you, or it's, like, out of range, which is interesting. Um, but, like, it's so good. I don't know. This game is just, like... And now, see, now that the funny part is I'm not even going to be able to talk because I'm just going to play the game nonstop. You know, I haven't tried this. Let's try this. Can I... Yeah. I don't know what this wing does makes it go faster okay um anyways pfft, oh that's not good it's just like the, the, the obviously the different terrain is a big factor this game the temples being different i do like the temples more that is i think for me personally a big improvement over the divine beast and the abilities the abilities are so fun the nice thing about because like i said ultra hand is like the star of the show obviously um but the nice thing about it is that you don't need to be like ridiculously creative Ooh. in order to be able to use that you know like one thing i was worried about was that like for example like i look at a game like mario maker where it's like you need to be kind of creative when it comes to mario maker in order to design the levels you can play them but in order to design them you need to have like you need to be at least somewhat creative and like i think most people can be but like a lot of us don't want to put in the effort right with ultra hand it's honestly pretty it's, you don't need to be super complicated. Like, obviously, people are given those tools to be able to create these crazy things, right? But you don't need to do that. You can do something super simple, you know? A really long log bridge or wooden plank bridge will solve a lot of your problems, um, which is super, super nice. And But, you know, obviously, the options there, if you want it. This game has so many options. There's so much to do. There's so many ways you can do things. The game doesn't fault you for, like, quote-unquote cheating. That's what I've tried to tell some of my friends who are playing this game. There's no way to cheat because they give you the tools to do whatever the hell you want. And that's, I, I'm always such a fan of options in games. And this game has like unlimited options in terms of, you know, solving things, but also where to go. There's too much. <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at my, you know, let's, let's look at my gameplay time right now. I want to see, maybe I have closer to like 30. I mean, that first live stream, no way. 
Nuh uh. Nuh uh. No, no, there's no way. There's no, no, uh uh. There is no way I've put that much time. Uh uh. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. What the f? That's scary. <laughs> You're getting my live reaction for that. Holy crap. You know, sometimes like when I'm doing remote work, I do kind of leave it on a bit in the background. So that probably added on like five or 10 hours. But still, I was thinking I was like 2025. 20, Man. OK. Every, anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm just I'm finding I'm finding I'm having so much fun with this game. I'm clearly getting sucked in and hooked on it um, and maybe disregarding some other responsibilities outside of work that I should be doing. But hey, what are you going to do? Um, I'm very glad I'm not streaming. I'm, I'm glad I'm taking a break from streaming while playing this game. It definitely was a well-timed break but like not only that but one thing i've realized is that i didn't really do a lot of side stuff in breath of the wild and i've talked to people about it, like certain side i won't mention them but certain side quests that were optional in breath of the wild and i just i never did them there but in this game i'm and maybe it's just because i'm in a different place now you know i was in college when breath of the wild came out i was playing that i jumped on it late Whereas now, you know, I'm, I have a full-time job, remote job, and I'm, you know, playing along with other people and some friends as well, which makes it more fun. It really does. I'm, I'm so glad I'm playing this during launch. Um, so maybe, like, that's, you know, part of it. But, like, it's just, I don't know. I just, I'm going out of my way to do so much side stuff. Like, some of my friends are way ahead of me in terms of, like, what they're doing. They're going to other temples and stuff. As of this recording, I've only done one temple. I won't say which one it is, but I've only done one. And that's it. I've been doing so much side stuff coming across because there's so many side quests, doing whatever side quests I come across and just like kind of exploring a little bit of the area at a time. You already see like I, I don't even have like most of the map unlocked. Most of the map, I haven't even gotten enough like all the, the map unlocked. Like I've just been spending so much time in each area because there's so much. It's so dense. This world feels so alive and like... I almost, in a way, want to compare this to the Majora's Mask situation, right? With Ocarina to Majora, where it's a little different because with Majora's Mask, you know, it was, you know, reusing the same assets, but a completely different world, right? That wasn't meant to be in the same... It wasn't in Hyrule. There was no Zelda. There was no Ganondorf. It was a completely different world, but they reused assets, I imagine, to save time after Ocarina to Majora. Whereas this game is, yes, obviously the same world, a lot of the same characters, a lot of new characters, I will say. So if you're worried about not a lot of new characters, there are plenty. It's just like, ooh, nice. You know? And it's just like, it feels very similar to that, where it feels so much more expansive. You know? It really, really does. It feels like there's... The world almost feels more alive. And I think part of that is also because I'm biased and that I didn't actually do a lot of that during... Um, ooh, this is new. You know, I didn't I, that I didn't do a lot of that during my time with Tears of the King. Um, what am I saying? With Breath of the Wild. Oh, where is the ground? Okay, we're good. This is scary. Uh, I don't know what's happening, but we're good. Okay, I landed here. I'm not gonna go too much farther. But like, it's just, it's, ugh, it's crazy. I don't know. I I find that I'm so engrossed in the world with this game and just like really having a lot of fun. I still love the bow and arrow. That's like my favorite thing to use in the game. I pour through arrows like crazy. It's just. For me personally, and like, I'm trying to think of things with Breath of the Wild. Sure, the story, but like the story was kind of weird with like the memories and stuff. The runes, if you want those runes, I guess if you're into the Divine Beast more than Temples, which I could say. Um, also, Wolf Link Amiibo, no Wolf Link Amiibo functionality, which uh, I, I was a little, it was a little hard. Uh, I heard a little bit of when I first tried that on, when I did the launch stream for this. But like, besides that, it's like, I don't unless you're really just wanting to go back and like play breath of the wild if you're doing like a zelda marathon or just for the heck of it i'm trying to find for someone like me there's no motivation to replay breath of the wild and to be honest a new player i i don't think there's any point i think you can jump into this you know i think the game does a good enough especially because this is a slightly more guided experience the game does a pretty good job of letting you know. I could see maybe some elements that return, like some core elements like cooking or, I mean, even bow and arrow or like weapon degradation. Like maybe someone who jumped right into Tears of the Kingdom might have some issues with, but like they're not the super complicated abilities like Ultra Hand and Fusion that they're, you know, not guiding you on. You know what I mean? So I feel like you can jump into this game without you might have more of a connection to some of the characters and stuff like that if you played breath of the wild sure but i don't i really don't think you need to play breath of the wild before this and 
honestly, as a result, I don't think Breath of the Wild has, I don't want to say any relevance because like, obviously you got to respect your elders. You got to respect what established the foundation, but it's like, I don't know. This, it just, it feels irrelevant to me now. It feels irrelevant. Like everybody's saying, it feels like a tech demo in comparison to just how much they improved upon. And my issue before launch is those of you who, you know, have watched some of my live streams or videos before, um, I wasn't super hyped about this game because I was like, eh, do I really want to play Breath of the Wild again? That was kind of my, my thought problem. Like I knew it was going to be a good game and I knew there was going to be a good amount of new stuff, but I did not think it was going to be to this degree. I did not think between like all the verticality, the, d the abilities, just having so much use, especially um, recall. I was surprised by and especially ultra hand, of course, and just how hard and I, I've barely done any story, but the story goes so hard. I love it. And like, maybe it like, falls flat at the end i have no idea i'm f so far away from that and i'm not gonna get there anytime this is gonna be the longest game i've ever played this is gonna be the game i've ever put the most amount of time into probably it's just like it's crazy i don't know it's it's kind of crazy to me that they've done so much with this game i did not think they could do this much but then when you think about how long it took to develop it just makes more sense and like that tweet that came out recently about you know anuma saying the last year was just polish on the game and I'm so glad they did that. I'm so glad they did that because obviously there are some performance issues and I haven't come across really any, I don't think I've come across any glitches at all yet. I know some people have maybe a tiny bit, but not that much. Clearly that paid off in spades because like this game, it, it's amazing that this can even run on like even the original Switch, which I currently have and that I'm working with. It's either the original or the, the first revision that they didn't label as a revision. I forget what it was called, but like it's, I, I'm just at a loss for words. This game is, it's funny because Breath of the Wild was ranked as, you know, one of the best games of all time. This game surpasses it. <laughs> Just, obje it's one of those things that like, I know I say a lot, I'm like, a lot of things are subjective. This game objectively passes Breath of the Wild. I don't think there's a debate. <laughs> I just, I don't. It's pretty much, there's a few things that maybe taken for out of Breath of the Wild that maybe you liked more than here, that's fine. But otherwise, there's so much new that's amazing. And it builds upon it so much to the point where it's like, sure, it feels a little bit like Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild feels like the base. It established the foundation. It established the core mechanics. It established the overworld of Hyrule. And this game goes nuts. This game goes absolutely apeshit <laughs> with how much there is. It's, I'm, I'm just at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words. There's nothing else I can say that will be productive here. But I just want to give you all my thoughts. Do I think Breath of the Wild is irrelevant? To be honest, a little bit. It's not irrelevant in the way like that we shouldn't respect the legacy because without Breath of the Wild, we wouldn't have this game, right? Breath of the Wild was a major turning point for Zelda. We're going to keep continuing with these open air Zelda games for th at least 3D going forward. And so, of course, Breath of the Wild established that, so we got to respect it. But in terms of like going back to it, I don't know if it has enough unique from this game to warrant going back. Whereas this game has so much more. You know, with Ocarina Majora, both games are super unique, even though they reuse the same assets. But with these games, with Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom just has Breath of the Wild with a, t a few smaller things taken out and infinitely more added. It's like, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's uh, We're in a weird spot with Zelda where like, is the next game, is Tears of the Kingdom going to look like a tech demo compared to what comes next? Like, I have no idea. It's going to be an interesting time, but obviously that's not going to be for probably like a decade at this point. Who knows? But maybe not that long, but a good amount of time. So, man, I am just, I'm so happy I'm loving this game. I'm so happy because obviously leading into it, I was not the most hyped. The final trailer really got me hyped. And now playing it, I'm just, I'm, apparently I have over 50 hours in it. What the hell, Nintendo? So, I don't know. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did, let me know your thoughts are in the comments, but let me know if I'm curious, first of all, if you ever would want to go back to Breath of the Wild, having started or played through Tears of the Kingdom. Also, if you've never played Breath of the Wild, you know, and you jump into Tears of the Kingdom, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if any of those mechanics are overwhelming for you, because it could be a lot for new players. Let me know what you think, or if you'd even have any interest in playing Breath of the Wild at this point, because to be honest, from my perspective, after this, there's no going back. But with that, thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you all on the next video or live stream. Until next time, stay true. Be a hero. Do not give up. Never give up. <laughs>